We recently visited Salt Lake City, and since we both have reciprocity with our Arizona CCW permits and hold permits for carry in Utah, we decided to bring our pistols along. And we were flying, so that meant we needed to put the pistols into our checked baggage and follow the procedure. Now your mileage may vary, different airlines, different airports have differences in the details, but for the most part you need to have your uh, firearm unloaded in a locked box in your luggage separate from the ammunition and you need to declare that as you're checking the baggage. Here, uh, we turned on the camera for a couple of our experiences during the trip. Well upon getting our luggage from the baggage claim at the airport uh, just open it up to make sure everything's there. There's a notice of baggage inspection in there from the TSA. Pretty much says they randomly check your checked luggage and we'll open it up and look through it and if it's locked uh, it says the officer may have been forced to break the lock on your bag. TSA sincerely regrets having to do this however TSA is not liable for damage to your locks resulting from this necessary security precaution. Hmm. On the back side looks like it's in Spanish. They rummage around through it or? Uh, no, looks like uh, everything's where it was. Firearm's still there. That's a good thing. So that bag. Inside, I've got my firearm in here. This is a locking box, and we'll probably end up doing a review of these on their own. We've already sort of started that. You see that there's a, uh, a, a declaration here that the firearm's unloaded. When you go to the um, airport, at least for Delta in Tucson, what we did uh, was declare that we've got a firearm in the, in the luggage. They have you fill out this form that's a, an official declaration that it is unloaded. Uh, you put it on your, your locked box, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to take the actual firearm out. No one in the airport really knows what's going on unless they're familiar with the procedure. Um, as I mentioned, this one's a box that has a cable lock to it. So if I can get it back together with one hand here. The idea being that it's tethered to my pack, or my suitcase. Uh, there's an internal frame in this for the handles. You know, it's got wheels and everything. So I've got my uh, lockbox secured so if it fell out or I guess if somebody tried to yank it uh, out of there then um, you know it's a little tougher for them. Again trying to keep honest people honest. Inside I've got my Keltec. I brought a Keltec P380. I brought a couple of spare mags that needs to be unloaded and we thought the procedure was have the magazines unloaded so we went with uh, cautious. Uh, I've got the ammunition separately and I brought Spirit Gold Dot uh, a factory box because that's one of the requirements. Yeah. Another box, bag here that I had to stow because it's got all the my EDC stuff, all my good stuff that they don't let you bring on the plane. And that's an extra cartridge for the taser. The taser, I decided to bring mine without the battery or the cartridge. In other words, I removed both of them in case there's any kind of discharge. My uh, taser is in the holster from Tough Holsters, which I really am a fan of. It allows really quick draw and a fairly comfortable carry. I brought a little Swiss Army knife just so I have something around the uh, hotel room here. My little Mike uh, Leatherman uh, so I have something to carry with me. And of course the uh, bench made for my knife. So I had to carry this stuff in the checked baggage. Of course we're in Utah and our, we either have reciprocity or I have a uh, Utah CCW so no problems with carry here. Uh, driver's license. We'll need that my Arizona concealed carry. I'm going to bring that because we have reciprocity with Utah, but something I don't normally carry in my uh, drivers in my wallet is my Utah CCW. So I'll bring that also because we're going to Utah and we'll be carrying. Because we brought our firearms with us, I brought a trauma uh, kit and I know that might be overkill, but I feel it's responsible to have, you know, at least an emergency bandage, some way to protect yourself or others if you're going to have something like that. Whenever we needed to store the pistols, it was easy to use the same lockable travel boxes with that flexible cable. It's easy to go around pipes in the hotel room or around the undercarriage of the seats in the vehicle. This way we could keep the pistols secure whenever we weren't carrying them. 
These are our ideas on travel. Feel free to leave some comments or ask questions. We're always looking for feedback. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.